consider this function. Let's use a linear function as our example. And let's call it f of x. So does f of x have an inverse function? To determine if f of x have an inverse function, you have to show that it's a one-to-one -one function. You have to show that it passes the horizontal line test. So if we draw a horizontal line, that's a terrible horizontal line. If f of x touches the horizontal line more than once, that means f of x is not a one-to-one -one function. It does not have an inverse function. But in this example, it only intersects the horizontal line only at one point. So f of x is a one-to-one -one function, which means that it has an inverse function. So let's look at some other examples. So what about this parabolic function? Does it have an inverse function? Well, if we draw a horizontal line, notice that it touches the horizontal line at two points. So therefore, let's call this function g of x. g of x does not have an inverse function. If you try to draw the inverse relation, it's not going to be a function. It's going to look something like this. This is just like a, a rough sketch. And notice that it does not pass the vertical line test. So therefore, the inverse relation is not a function. So we could say that g of x does not have an inverse function because it's not a one-to-one -one function. Let's look at some more examples. So go ahead and determine if the following functions have inverse functions. Let's call this f of x. Let's call this one g of x. So f of x does not pass the horizontal line test. It is not a one-to-one -one function, and so it doesn't have an inverse function g of x passes the horizontal line test. It touches it only at one point. So g of x has an inverse function, and it is a one-to-one -one function. So what about this one? This function does not pass the horizontal line test. It touches it at three points. And so it's not a one-to-one -one function, and it does not have an inverse function. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to determine if a function contains an inverse function and if it's a one-to-one -one function. So keep in mind, if you have some function f of x, if it's a one-to-one -one function, that means that it passes the horizontal line test and it does have an inverse function. Let's say if you have g of x. If it doesn't have, if it doesn't pass the horizontal line test, it is not a one-to-one -one function, and it doesn't have an inverse function.